Welcome to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Lincoln Financial Field, and it is indeed home to the 2018 Super Bowl champion Eagles. The link also is home to the Temple Owls. What we have in store today, a clash between a pair of AAC squads. As we'll see, the Army Black Knights taking on the Temple Owls. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. And the Black Knights will kick it away to start. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So Temple's offense will start this game off. When your quarterback takes the field, you want him to look just like this guy, exuding confidence. Yeah, the it factor. He's the man. Nobody questions it. Everybody on this team knows they've got his back, and he's the leader. Everybody in this stadium also knows the offense goes as this guy goes. He has got to play well today. Really good concept there to get things going and use the tight end early. Yeah, I mean, just such a great job on first down, setting up an easier second down. Understanding I don't always have to push the ball down the field, but see the tight end, make the throw. No, it's not a big game. It makes life really easy on me on second down. From the gun, they'll try the middle. Gets the nose of the ball to the 25, give him one. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. Temple lines up quickly. To the air, it's Brock. Quickly to the tight end. Tackled, but he has a first down. See, I like this tight end because he's not just running flat routes and little stick routes and drags. This guy can get vertically down the field. He showed you his speed there running the crosser. Chains are set, and Temple has it with another first and ten. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. He leaves it with his back. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one. Somehow, it's second and seven. They get to the line quickly. A little misdirection and the handoff on the counter. And he was able to shed a tackle and pick up the first down before they finally get him on the ground. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. So no room to run there, and you wonder after that loss on first down where they turn now. Yeah, and that's why it's so important for the defense to win these first downs, right? You want to create negative plays to make this offense so much more predictable. Last play was a near disaster, now dealing with second and 13. He's looking to throw. Quickly complete. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. Well, you hear all the time that the tight end's the QB's best friend. You saw a perfect example of it on that last play, right? Second down, you need to pick up some positive yards to keep this third down manageable. Really nice job of executing that. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but now facing third down. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, on that third down play, I think the quarterback's got to do a little bit of better job, really selling pass. I think he kind of hurried it up too fast, got the ball to the running back. He didn't fool anybody. Back got tackled for loss. Now it's fourth. Temple lining up to punt it away. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. 
And the punt hits at the 8 and goes into the end zone for the touchback. The Cadets' offense will have its first possession of the game. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. On the option. And he is swarmed under a host of defenders there to make the stop. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 27. Scanning the field, it's Daly. Fires to the big fella. And with that effort, they pick up a fresh set of downs. They have it at the 34-yard line. Ever since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight ends, is so much versatility. You know, they can block and stay in the formation, or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient, most of the time, that drag route's going to come open. He'll pitch it. At midfield, he's got room. And that's what this option will do to you. They got the pitch man free, and he was off to the races. Well, on that one, they decide to attack the left outside on the ground, and you see the speed by the ball carrier there, Reese, picking up a huge chunk of yards. Now, I can't imagine any reason they wouldn't just run that play again. If, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Why not just go back to the well one more time? They'll go to the fullback. Ripping off a good chunk inside the 25, and they're set up with a first down. I love it. What a play call. Going to the fullback in the running game, and he shows you that he's got some ability. This guy was a big-time high school running back, and he shows you the wiggle. He's got some ability to break tackles, and he helps his offense out. down you've got to be loving what you're seeing from your offense here on the opening drive of this game they're in a really nice rhythm they've got real good balance going on right now and they've got the defense on their heels the black knights come to the line with a fresh set of downs the option look and he's loose and he'll take it to the house touchdown army First and goal, you know what's coming, they know what's coming, can you stop it, and you can't. Pound the football straight ahead, get in for six, nice job by the big fella. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point makes it 7 0. They put together an 81 yard drive, and the scoring play came on the 12 yard run. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Temple takes over, and the offense will return to the field. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front, they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. Temple lines up quickly. To the air. It's Brock. Fires to the tight end. 
And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. These routes have some reads and adaptability built in, and the big fella found that cushion and made the play. Man, it's so awesome how much offenses have evolved. They know exactly what they're getting, where to sit down, quarterback, tight end, on the same page, gets the first down. The give is to Smith. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So you get stuffed on first down, and now you have the offensive coordinator thinking a little bit. Yeah, we're probably going to have to throw it now in this second play. But what are we going to see defensively? Now that they know we're throwing, might they blitz us? Do I have to leave more guys in to block? There's a real cat and mouse game going on right now between these two coaching staffs. They'll run play action. Throws to the wideout. Oh, so close to paying off the tip drill. He had it in his hands, but it falls incomplete. Yeah, and because of the pressure, the defense gets pressure on him immediately so quickly that he, he makes a bad decision, tries to throw it into double coverage. Really nice job pressuring the quarterback up front. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. They're bringing heat. Looking deep. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. DB does an outstanding job here on the deep pass. Locating the football, no P.I., able to swat it away, pass incomplete. Temple lining up to punt it away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. He'll wave for the fair catch and haul it in at the 25. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. That running game was impressive, taking them right down for a touchdown last time, David. Yeah, just mauling. No secret play calls, just simply we are more physical than you, and we're pounding the football right at you. So if you're on offense this next drive, take a look at their safeties and see if they're creeping up into the box. Because of your success running the football, this might be time to take a shot down the field and play action. After trying the running game, let's see if they do it again on second down. They'll run the option. And now on the pitch, the ball's loose. The defense pounced on that, and now they're headed the other way. Touchdown, Owls! Don't just get the ball, score with the ball, and the defense did. This time, it's the defense finding ways to put points on the board. There is nothing better than being a defender. Seeing that ball in the end zone, your eyes get big as saucers. Go jump on that puppy, secure it, get you a touchdown. Ready to try the point after. And it's perfect. The scoop and score. What a lift it can give to the defense. Not content to get the ball. They wanted to do something with it, and they did. And we're all square as he set to kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, as an offense, you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. Single back formation, and they give it to it. Open space at the 25. Running toward the tape. He's at the 30. Inside the 10. And he rolls into the house. Touchdown, Black Knights! What a big-time run. He's still running. Over 90 yards. That's one of those when you're running to the end zone, you're looking behind you, you're looking on the Jumbotron to see if anybody's going to catch you, and nobody's going to catch him on that huge touchdown run.
They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the PAT gives them a 14-7 lead. Only took two plays to find the end zone on that drive and gashing them on the touchdown run finished it off. Kickoff team has the ball teed up and they're about ready to go. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Temple takes over and the Owls send the offense back onto the field. He's stuffed after picking up one to the 23. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. Temple lines up quickly. The back goes in motion. Back to pass, it's Brock. Swings it out to his running back. Makes a catch and knock down. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. Well, it's important in this game, this offense gets the running back involved out in the perimeter in space where he can do some damage. That time they got it to him throwing the football. He picked up a couple of yards, but it gives the defense something to think of. Somebody needs to make a play here. It's third and long from the 26. Fires to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he gets it to the 45-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Hard work pays off, guys. These offenses work so hard week in and week out, working on those critical down and distances, third downs. And having that conversion this early in the game, that's got to feel good for this offense. Off play action on first down. And he dropped it, just didn't look the thing all the way in. It doesn't matter who it is, receivers, in this case, a tight end. You get open, you sometimes start to look at that green space in front of you, and you just take your eye off the football, lose your concentration a little bit, and miss that opportunity for possibly a big play. Now second and ten. Gives it to the back on the draw. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. Man, not much wiggle room for the ball carrier there. I'm not really sure what they can do to try to create some space. I know. Block better. How about the offensive lineman push some guy backwards and make some holes? Even if they don't convert, picking up a few would give them a decision to make on fourth down. It's third and long from the 45. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And they tried to sneak the draw in there, and the defense was not fooled. You know, there's an art to selling the draw play, and that one was uh, kind of more paint by numbers. Didn't turn out so well. Yeah, and the defense, you could tell, they weren't fooled. They were agreeing with your painting by numbers and got in there quick, fast, and made the play. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. That last drive, really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? On the option. Got enough for the first. Nice job to keep it himself, find the first down marker, and move the change for this offense. This is an offense that has a chance to be one of the better rushing attacks in the country at the end of the year because of the athleticism of this quarterback. You're going to see this guy do damage with his legs this year. And the Black Knights come to the line with a new set of downs, looking for a physical attack from the gun. 
They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way ahead of the sticks and, and be in a position now where I can throw the football or run, I will have a lot of success on the offensive side of the football. Goes to the option. The Black Knights get enough for the first down. And I know it's not sexy, but those little runs just keep you on your heels, keep the sticks moving, making you understand, like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be patient. A lot of offenses aren't patient. They get too play, big play happy, wanting to force the ball down the field. This offense is staying nice and patient right now. He'll do it himself. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it, too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. At the 40, there he goes. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. And with that last carry, into triple digits, over 100 yards for the day. And he's showing you power. He's showing you speed. He's showing you make you miss. He really is showing you he's a complete back. And by the way, it's still the first half. Movement on the offensive line. That's going to be a false start, and they'll walk it back. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Option look, it's Daly. And they snuffed out that play from the start. He probably should have given the ball to the back. Guys, it is Army who carries the lead into the quarter break. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. They are lined up and ready to go and get things started here in the second. Eighth play of the drive coming up. Takes a handoff. It's Stewart. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. Just making a play, getting it to the 23-yard line. It'll be first down. That's exactly what you'd expect from this brave old Army team getting it done on the ground. Yeah, they know who they are. They know what they want to do, and they're going to run the football at you early and often in this football game. They have declared their intentions on this drive, keeping it on the ground. It's first and 10 again. Defense has to be frustrated. The offense keeps matriculating and matriculating and matriculating the ball down the field. Looking to throw, it's Daly. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. Well, the quarterback knew he wanted to go to his tight end on that play. He's a big physical target, but it was the hit on the play that forced the incompletion. Let's see what they've dialed up on third and long from the 22. From the gun, wants to pass. Now adjusting. Quarterback tried to scramble around for a while, but the defense able to bring him down. And that is your job. The O-line has to protect their quarterback. That's the most important position on the field. You got to make sure you keep him upright. You got to do a better job. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. He's going to try to punch one through from 45 yards away. It is perfect. And now the lead is extended a little further.
So they are lining up to kick it off after that last drive, put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut him down. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Temple takes over, and the offense will return to the field. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close, David. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, football is so fast-paced now, and you score so quickly. It's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. Looking to throw, it's Brock. Pressure coming. And it's incomplete. It was wild high and wide on that one. They couldn't connect on second down. Now staring at a third and nine. From the gun, wants to pass. Feeling some heat. And he just overshot his man and threw it out of bounds. Incomplete. It's so nice when you know it's third and long, you know a pass is coming, you worked on it all week, get your feet set at the sticks, understand that quarterback's got to be rushed, get him off of his spot. Nice execution by this defense. Temple lining up to punt it away. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. This is a spot you see many returners try to take a chance, but not this time. The fair catch just inside the 40. On the option. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. They'll power it inside with the fullback. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. Well, how about that? They turn around and hand it off to the big fella, and he's able to get the first down. Nice play. Now across the 50 and at the 48-yard line, they'll have it first and 10. Leaves it with the back. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. Just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Pass the sticks, and he may get more. There's a live football. Defense covering it up and not letting the offense get it back. It's a turnover. Oh, and it's a hit like that that will absolutely light up the sideline, light up the stadium, change the momentum, and help you win a football game because that hit is what caused that fumble. Temple takes over, and the Owls send the offense back onto the field. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of their you-know-what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They've got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. Looking for a man. It's Brock. He makes the connection. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Well, if you're going to get first downs against this defense, you're going to have to earn it. You're going to have to make people miss. This is an excellent tackling unit. You saw it on that last play. And the Owls want to crank the tempo. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. And he drops it just a little too slippery in the hands. Temple lining up to punt it away. 
They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity letter. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. This time, they need to take care of the ball and maybe extend this lead, David. And I think you got to look at the positive, Reese. you still got the lead. Now take care of the football. Put a nice drive together, Jesse. You don't have to stress. We're still winning. I feel like they think that player for player, they're the better unit on the field right now. They just got to make more plays. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. The give to the tailback. He's brought down at the 29 after a 10-yard gain. And there's really no secret to it, David. When this guy's running well, this offense is so hard to stop. It opens up everything, and he's having a great day, showing you a little bit of everything, and this offense has got it rolling on the ground. They'll start this one from the 29 on first down. The give to the fullback. Oh, did you like that stiff arm? Get a face full of that as he gets it up to the 34. It's the MO of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game, running the football. This offense has a second down play. Looking downfield, it's Daly. Fires left. Complete downfield. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. It is so good for an offense early in the game to get in a rhythm and to start stringing first downs together. It makes the game really easy and puts that defense in a situation where they're starting to get tired. They want to sub. They want to get other guys in the field. Stringing first downs together like this makes it hard to defend. Receiver wasn't ready for the throw incomplete. After the misfire, now on second down. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, he has to throw for it. They'll run the screen. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. A really good job by the defense, understanding third down, the situation of the game. I play a little bit deeper, take away the sticks, react to shorter, I got to go get him on the ground now. Nice job making the tackle, but playing the down and distance first and now forcing a fourth down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Temple takes over, and the offense will return to the field. They've hit a bit of a lull here, and they need to get things cranked up with this possession, Jesse. Just haven't had a rhythm these last couple of possessions, but I'll tell you, the best way to get back into one is to run the football. Establish yourselves up front the line of scrimmage and help keep these third downs manageable. Now, and the best news is your defense at least forced a punt of their own. So now you can go answer with that good stop while this game is still close. Let's just go keep putting more points on the board and let's see less of the punter. Offense gets set for second down. Looking to throw, it's Brock. But a little time, lets it go. This time, he's got his man. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a run. Off play action. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. Fires and picked off. And they capitalize not only on the pick, but on the great return to improve this field position. What a play by the safety. Really good understanding. Like, listen, if I'm going to sit back and I'm going to play cover two and I'm a free safety, 
I'm free to go get that thing, but I got to see the route. I got to see the wide receiver breaking, understanding the quarterback's throwing the football. And as soon as that hand separates from the other hand, I'm breaking on it. Does a great job breaking on it and making the catch. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for the position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Here comes the option. Solid fundamentals on that tackle from this freshman. And guys, they really need to take advantage of this field position on third and long. To the air, it's Daly. Can't find the man, and he'll be knocked down at the 40. And third and long, and the offense goes with a little play action. I, I don't know why the threat of the run. I'm not scared by that. You can tell the defense doesn't honor it, doesn't buy it, flies by the line, gets to the quarterback, gets the big third down stop. And the Black Knights will bring the punt team onto the field. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. The punt goes out of bounds and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. Temple takes over and the Owls send the offense back onto the field. And with the completion out to the sideline, they'll pick up a couple. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offensive success. They'll try the run. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Great team defense on that run play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. The Owls want to pick up the tempo. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Caught near the sticks. It's right. Now they'll really try to get this drive going. Good execution on third down as they have it first and 10 at the 31. Really good throw and catch there, David. But on third down, you have to put a little bit of heat on the quarterback somehow. Somehow, some way, get him uncomfortable. They didn't do it there. Great job of this offensive line. Nice protection, good clean pocket. QB rips the football, easily gets the first down. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Caught behind the line, it's Smith. They'll move the chains after he gets it to the 43-yard line. I like the running back there on the route, the patience he showed, really setting it up. He got to the defender, was able to put his foot in the ground, get some separation, catch it, and turn upfield for the first. This Temple offense putting together a nice drive. Back to throw, it's Brock. He finds his man. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. That is an excellent throw by the quarterback, finding the window between the zones and delivering that ball on top. Chains are set, and Temple has it with another first and ten. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Throws to the tight end. And he intercepts it. Looking for more room. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. And this is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. 
They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead, Paul. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen yet. Kept it on the ground last time. Let's see if they go back to it on second down. Give to the fullback. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the change for a first down. And they give it to the fullback going downhill right now. And I tell you what, most of the time, the fullback takes you the ball. But it's most of the time as a blocker. And they give it to him really quickly. Linebacker comes down and meet him in the hole. I tell you what, that's big on big collision right there. Big boy pads and big boy pads. Here's the handoff. And I think they'll give him two on that one. Second and eight coming up. They're strong and they're scrawl. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. With the catch, it's Robinson. Good play call on defense. Third down in that situation, you're just playing a big zone. You want everybody having their eyes on the quarterback, playing in their areas, and you want them rallying to the football. As soon as that running back caught the ball, they all came screaming in. They are able to make the tackle and now set up fourth. The Black Knights will try to pin them back with the punt. And the coverage team down there to touch the ball. No return on this play. Temple takes over, and the offense will return to the field. Getting late here in the first half, they'll have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And the offensive play caller here has to really be dialed in. It's important, down two possessions, Dave, but they're able to score some points, and you've got to call your best stuff in this two-minute situation. And, and such a good opportunity to cut it to a one-score game, create that momentum, get some good juices going for the second half, because obviously, you know, you built yourself a little bit of a deficit. You need some good things to happen, and it needs to happen on this possession. Wants to throw. It's Brock. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. And they can't make the connection going for a big play on first down. Man, that's a couple bad throws. Last possession obviously ends in an interception by this quarterback. And now you throw another one, you know, in harm's way. You got to make sure you're throwing to the open guy. Make sure you're taking care of that football. We can't have any more turnovers. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Unloads to the wideout. Got him downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Now it's first and ten from the 46-yard line. Looking to throw it again. Shoots it to the left. He just missed the target on that one. Got to put it on his body. I love the decision by the quarterback. He found the open man, just don't love the throw. Got to be a little bit more accurate, make it easier on your target. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Makes the grab on the left. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. I'll tell you, for this defense, they're going to have to find a way to bracket the slot receiver because of how athletic he is. They're going to need to make sure they've got linebackers and DBs surrounding this guy at all times. Here comes a third down situation, and the defense hasn't been able to slow them down. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. Third and short in college football today, you see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive, and I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. And they'll pat the kicker on the tail and tell him to go give it a shot. 
He's going to have to break out the Thunderfoot on this one, a 57-yard attempt. No good. The missed field goal leaves us with a double-digit game still sitting at 10. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. A little bit more to go after that last completion. They'll try to pick it up on second down. Dropping back, it's Daly. Quarterback moving out of the pocket. He'll try to do it himself. They finally get him on the ground, but not before he rips off enough for a first down. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. They'll snap it from the 47 on first down. He wants to throw. Fires to the wideout. Grabbed over the middle. It's Reynolds. The offense uses a timeout to stop the clock, and they'll get a quick breather. It's hard for an offense to win when you get in predictable situations. What a great job understanding where the first down marker is. Got to get a big game. Got to get that first down. Nice job. Great nose for the first down. It's complete. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. Man, this defense, they have got to get better in coverage if they want to get off the field anytime soon. You keep defending like that, this offense might hang 50 on you by the end of the game. One snap coming before they head to the locker room. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. One more snap coming before halftime. They'll throw it on first down. And he is sacked as the defense adds a little emphasis to wrap up this first half. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, looks like we've got a terrific scene there today in Philly. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen and panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at the Link, Lincoln Financial Field. Temple will try to boot this one deep to get the second half underway. He'll bring it out. It's Robinson. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. They keep it on the ground to open the third. Strong run to get it out to the 21-yard line. They pick up of six. Well, this offense came into the game knowing they wanted to be physical, they wanted to establish the line of scrimmage, and they're running downhill right at this defense, and they're churning out positive yardage early. Six-yard pickup on first down, leaves them with second and four. Back to throw, it's Daly. Here he goes breaking the pocket, trying to make magic with his feet. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. Hey, listen, it's important at that position to be able to be good off schedule. Everything's easy when it's on time. You can get the ball out. But when things break down and they get off schedule, you've got to have a guy back there that can make the right decisions. He did exactly that. Lining up from the 34 on first down. 
they go to the ground. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And when you play defensive end, it's all about getting off the football. You can tell he gets off the football really fast, gets in the backfield, gets the running back before he knows what hit him. What a play by the defensive end. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. They'll leave it with the lone back. Finds his way for three out to the 33. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Pocket starts to collapse. And the blitz gets to him just like that. Another sack by this defense. But how about this QB? He continues to get back up every single time, still leading his team, still staying positive, still putting him in a good position to win this football game. And the Black Knights will punt this one away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. No return coming here. Fair catch is signaled for and made just shy of the 30. Temple takes over and the Owls send the offense back onto the field. We talk about settling for points, but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing, David, it can be demoralizing. Yeah, and it can definitely be frustrating. And I think it leads you to say maybe I go for it more. But, Jesse, I think this offense just needs to put another drive together and just finish stronger. Yeah, and, and be a little bit less predictable, too, especially as they get closer and closer down to the end zone. And the Owls are in the hurry up. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Trying to get to it. Using the quick game. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. And listen, I know that wasn't a huge gain. It was positive, but I like doing more of that in today's college football. I'm just going to try to give my playmakers a chance to do damage in space away from all the big boys inside. Then the short completion brings up second down. Caught in the backfield, it's Morris. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. I think that time offensively, you're just trying to take what the defense is giving you, right? They're playing zone coverage. You got your big fella just working right over the ball. It's an easy pitch and catch. Just take the profit. Let's keep going. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. He'll just keep slinging it. And to get rid of it quickly. And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They had been trying all game long different ways to affect him. Weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy. And that's why the ball falls incomplete. Temple lining up to punt it away. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. No opportunity to run it back as the ball goes out of bounds. Army has it back in the offense ready to go. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. And on second down for this offense. The give to the big fullback. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. They'll run the option. And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring up a call here.
The Black Knights send out the punt unit. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. Temple takes over, and the offense will return to the field. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. The Owls in the hurry up. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. And he gets it to the 44-yard line. It'll be a first down. And listen, the offensive line has to do their job, but a really good job by the running back, understanding where his hole is. Go hit it. Get the first down. Don't mess around. Nice job following his hole, getting positive yards. From the 44-yard line, the offense snaps it on first down. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Got his man. And a big time grab there. Knocked down immediately, but not before he gets it to the 40. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. Looking to pass. It's Brock. Quickly complete. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. And as a quarterback, when you're throwing these slant routes against man coverage, location is so important. You want to put the football in a place that your receiver can catch the ball and continue advancing it. So nice job by that QB putting the football right on the face basket of his wide receiver. The run from the shotgun. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Well, there we go. We finally see some life in this offense running the football. Nice game to pick up the first down. Got to get more of that going moving forward because they have not run it well. Chains are set, and Temple has it with another first and ten. To the ground. He's got it again. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, there's a statement by the defensive line. First down play, expecting run, and they just dominated up front. Beat their one-on-ones and forced a tackle for a loss. Got some work to do on second down after that last one. They need 13. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Looking to throw on second down. It's complete. He gets it all the way down to the five-yard line. A terrific catch and run before he stops. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. Temple will line up with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. They'll keep it on the ground, right up the gut, looking for six. He works his way ever closer, all the way down to the one-yard line. Well, he gets tackled down at the one-yard line, so offensively, do you feel confident enough on third here trying to hand it off again? Yeah, and I'm taking both these downs, and I'm coming downhill. I'm running the football, trying to get this in the end zone. I only got a yard to go. I got to be physical. Trying to barge their way in. And he takes it to the house. Who gives a hoop? The Owls do. It's a touchdown. Well, 
well, well, well. Somebody's been doing their box jumps. You ain't lying. Getting up in the air. Hey, listen, I'm taking a picture of that, saving it. That might be my screensaver on my phone. That vertical way up in the air. The AT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they close it to a 17-14 game. A 70-yard touchdown drive, and they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it out. It's Robinson. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. After giving up that last touchdown, they still got the lead, but now feeling a little bit of pressure to answer with one of their own, David. Man, it gets a little bit tight. Listen, we're getting later in the ball game. This offense punted last time. They got to find a few plays, Palmer, that they really love here. Steal some momentum back in this ball game. They do, David. And after watching their defense just get gashed down the field that last drive, the dream drive for this offense would be to matriculate the ball down the field, eat up some clock, and finish it off with a touchdown. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. I tell you what, with this kind of success on the ground, I, I think you two knuckleheads could call plays. I mean, that's how easy it is for this offense right now. They got the ground game working. It's really easy. Now you can open up for other things, but you guys could even try your hand because they're dominating right now. They'll snap this one from the 30 on first and 10. Sticks it in his belly. <laughs> And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. And the fullback breaks off a nice gainer there. No such thing as just three yards in a cloud of dust with this guy. He can make people miss and get you a play. Now on second down. This is a designed run. And this one will be stopped for no gain. A third down try for the offense. He'll ride his man on the option. And boy, is he close to that first down. Maybe just a couple of inches short. And the Black Knights will call on their punt team. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Temple takes over, and the Owls send the offense back onto the field. They put it in the end zone the last time they had it, and now an opportunity to really take control of this game. You can feel the momentum shifting. If they were able to take the football here, drive it down the field, and score again, David, they would have all of that momentum on their side. And there's nothing about momentum that you can quantify. Like, I, I don't understand it, but once it gets going in one direction, a lot of times it's so hard to swing it back the other direction. The momentum is real, and they got it. Off the play fake. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. When it's a play action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. Movement from the linebackers trying to mess with the offensive line's assignments. On third down, going up top. They're working that left side. And he gets it up to the 36. It'll be a first down. Nice job by the receiver there, running the drag route against zone coverage, finding the soft spot, making it easy on his quarterback to get the completion. He turns it upfield, and he moves the sticks. And the Owls moving quickly to the line. Coming out on first down with the play fake. 
And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. I tell you, as a quarterback, it's going to be hard throwing the ball over the middle of the field against this defense because these D linemen are huge and they've got long arms. That was like trying to throw over a 10-foot tall person. Nearly impossible. They'll go back to work after the incompletion. Here's second and 10 from the 36. Reacted well to the tip, but just couldn't squeeze the football. Instead of the turnover, it'll be third down. That's so frustrating for a quarterback. He sees an open guy, he's ready to rip the football, and then all of a sudden, one of those defensive ends gets their big mitt in the air and knocks it down. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Back to the air one more time. Finds a tight end. That's a really good tackle there, giving up some size and still making the play. Temple lining up to punt it away. He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. Army has it back in the offense ready to go. They've had to punt the last couple of times they've had it, David, now trying to put something together. Well, Reese, you know how much I love punters and kickers. Like, you don't want to see them very often. Those are not guys that we want to see on the field. We want to do something else and be a little bit more productive offensively here. And I think, David, on this drive, the quarterback's just got to settle down a little bit. These last few drives, looks like he's seeing ghosts. We've seen him force the football. He's missed a couple throws. He needs to just take a deep breath and play within himself. Shakes off the defender. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot it at the 37. And you got to throw the fullbacks a bone occasionally, okay? Those dudes have one of the worst jobs on the field, always blocking every single play, down in, down out. When you get those situations, you can give them the ball, give them a bone, reward them for all of his hard work. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. They'll run it from the gun. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. Guys, it is Army who carries the lead into the quarter break. They're sitting in a strong position here with the lead. Let's take a look at our game summary. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. The Black Knights get it past the sticks. Well, the defense didn't blitz. They didn't have everybody in gaps, and the offensive line took advantage at the point of attack, getting some push, opening up a hole, and the offense ripping off a nice run there. And the Black Knights look to keep this drive humming. Running back goes in motion. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. Now on the option. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And he is stuffed. And I think the reason he's stuffed there is, think about it, the only time you really give the ball to the fullback is short yardage situations. The defense knew it was coming, played it fast, played it physical, and stopped them for a big loss. Now facing a third and long. Dropping back, it's Daly. And it's incomplete on third down. Third and long situation. They try to go screen. I think they were hoping it was going to be a big zone and they could get those offensive linemen down the field, but the defense sniffed it out, forcing the incompletion. The Black Knights will line up to punt it away. They'll look to pin them deep. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Fair catch called for and made. Temple takes over, and the offense will return to the field. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. 
and I don't care if I get it by two, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. The Owls come to the line in the hurry up. Motion from the offense. He'll come out throwing on first down. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. The number one job is to protect your quarterback, and they weren't able to do it long enough that time. This offensive line, Reese, they've got to do a better job communicating pre-snap and try and figure out which people on defense are going to be rushing the passer. Right now, this offense just looks confused up front. They come to the line hoping to get some of that yardage back from the 17. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Picks his way ahead, pick up a three, and gets it to the 20-yard line. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Setting up the screen. On the move at the 30. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Hey, man, sometimes you get the perfect play call at the perfect time. That time, the defense blitzing. Offensive line allowed everybody to run up field, and they slip in the running back screen in behind it. There was nobody there to make a tackle, and this offense generates a massive play. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. It's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Keeps the legs moving. Brought down at the 47-yard line after the 15-yard pickup. When the running back gets going and gets ahead of steam like that, it's so hard to get to the ground. That's why you blitz. That's why you bring pressure. That's why you bring more guys in the box so you can get him before he gets going. But once he got going, you could tell it was hard to get a hand on him, hard to get him to the ground. They'll give it to the back. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance. And, and right here, just chews up another first down. Gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it. And right now, he's doing some damage on this defense. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Well, it's a really nice job of the offense mixing it up on this drive. We've seen some nice plays throwing it. And how about that one running it, too? Great push up front. And the Owls want to move quickly. Leaves it with the running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Don't you love energetic defenses that fly around, that make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want him to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense, creating the tackle for a loss on first down. The lost yardage leaves him with second and 11. They're testing the right side here. Drives into the defense, and they get him down after a pickup of three to the 16. A third and long coming up here. From the gun to give, looking for room. And they're able to get a third down stop here. See if they go for it on fourth.
So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. Between the uprights, it's good. Guys, we have a tie ball game here in the fourth. We're all square as he's set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the putter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. On the option. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. To throw, it's Daly. Throws for the tight end. It's caught. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. And the Black Knights come to the line with a fresh set of downs. The option look. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. Let's see what they find in the playbook for third and long from the 43. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Oh, the fumble, and the defense got it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. What a clutch stop for this defense. You get in the fourth quarter, you've got to make those plays, get the ball back to your offense in a position now to go take the lead in this ball game. Temple takes over, and the Owls send the offense back onto the field. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. you got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. Linebackers moving, trying to confuse the quarterback. The Owls will hustle to the line. Back to throw, it's Brock. Makes the grab over the middle. Makes the grab over the defense, and they are threatening now down at the 15. And that's why the bullet pass is so important. Sometimes these defenses, they don't give you big windows to throw into, and you want to take that chance, but you cannot lob that football down the field and get it in there. Nice use of the bullet pass, my friend. On first and 10, trying to strike from the 15. Looking to move it through the air. He's got it on the run. That completion takes them down to the seven-yard line, and they are ready to strike. 
Nice quick throw there. It's so important for quarterbacks to be able to find a rhythm and to be comfortable and confident. You want to just get the ball out quickly, make it an accurate and easy throw. And you can tell that these two guys, they rep that play in practice all the time, and it's now showing up here on the On second down, just keeps firing. And the heat gets there, and they get him down at the 14-yard line. Oh, it's a missed opportunity. You know the quarterback was excited. He saw man coverage. He thought he was going to have an opportunity to come up with a big play, but up front, they could not protect him well enough. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. And this is going to be intercepted. A big play in a tie game. Got some room to run. He's at the 40. Running inside the 20. Touchdown, Army! How about that D coming up with a play like that? What a play by this defense. The offense going in to take the lead. No, no, no. Flip the script. The big pick six. Now you're leading in this ball game. What a play by the D. Why not double the try total and go for two? Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Moving out of the pocket. He's in with the end zone. Two-point conversion is good as they push the lead to eight here in the fourth. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. He'll bring it out. It's Wilson. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Temple takes over, and the offense will return to the field. Give to the back. Good vision and determination there to find his way up to the 23. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Temple lines up quickly. They'll leave it with him. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense is about seeing it and pulling the trigger, and you could tell they pull the trigger so fast, get to the back, get him on the ground quickly. They'll try to snap it quickly. It's a draw. Nice move to keep running. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. Well, they came into this game today knowing that this guy was going to have to leave his mark in this one, tote in the rock, and he's done that. He's come up with some big plays, and he continues to do that here late at a juncture where they've got to continue running it if they're going to win. Chains are set, and Temple has it with another first and ten. They'll run it from the gun. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They're trying to run the football. And there's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That linebacker way too fast. He met him there and forced the TFL. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. They've softened them up with a run. Now to throw it. Caught over the middle. It's Morris. They'll get it to the 48. No need to measure it to first down. And with that one, he's now over three bills for the game. And there's two reasons why, Reese. He's made good decisions, and he's been accurate throwing the football all game long. This Temple offense putting together a nice drive. We've reached the two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. 
Here they come, first and 10 from the 48. He's going to pass. Throws to the wideout. Wide open downfield. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets them 30-plus. Love the individual effort by the wide receiver after the catch, making people miss, showing you the speed. Now he set up his offense down in the red zone. They keep count of their number of explosive plays, and that last one has them set up first and 10 at the 19. Grab behind the line. It's right. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. You want to bring in your tight ends? You want to bring in more beef for that offensive line? I'm going to bring in more beef. Nice job by the defense understanding the situation. Red zone, field shrinks. I need more bigger personnel on the field, some big guys that can stop the run. Played the run well. Great job by the defense understanding the situation. To the air, it's Brock. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. After that incompletion, there is so much pressure now on this quarterback to come up with a big play. They need to score a touchdown. They need to keep this drive alive to have any shot at winning this game. But it all comes down to this play right here. Trailing by a possession, they need to keep the ball. They'll try to convert on fourth down. Got it past the marker. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. Calling a timeout here, you have to avoid making a mistake in this situation. They'll dial up the run on first and goal. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Owls! And I tell you what, great job by this offense. Great execution. You drive down the field, you get the score. Now what's your two-point play? You practiced it all week. What's your go-to in this moment, late in the fourth quarter, when you need the two-point conversion? They need this two-point conversion to tie, and we might get a little free football out of this if they do. On the ground. He's not going to get there. The defense coming up with a big stop to hold on to this two-point lead deep in the fourth. Just over a minute to play. They're lining up for an onside kick to try to pull off this rally. They'd hope to get that thing bouncing around, but the hands team is able to corral it. First down for this offense. Don't want to risk anything here. The quarterback takes a knee. 